Yeah, we kind of, I know we kind of breezing past stuff because I want to get to a certain point, right? Now, everybody is gone. Easy gets sick. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking at somebody, and you know, this has happened during Easy's birthday. Vlad goes out there, he goes on Matt Falfa's show, and he says that Easy E knew he had the AIDS virus. I don't think he did. I don't think. Because I got a picture from his last public picture, which was December of 94. I can look at that picture because I took one because he gave me a birthday party in the year before he gave me one. I can compare both pictures. He's smaller in the 94 one compared to the 93, but I, he didn't know nothing. Mm. Because, matter of fact, that January, we went to Vegas. It's the first time I ever was in the room with him because they ran out of rooms. So I had to stay in the room with him. Nothing like that. He didn't know nothing at all. I don't think, you know something? I thought about it like once or twice. It, whatever happened, happened. It can't be changed. He can't come back. I mean, it was a cold piece of work, whatever was done. If it was done, I don't know. He loved females. So, <laughs> you know, he could have caught it. I don't know, you know. But they say back then it's harder to catch it from a female. You mm -hmm. had to be the other way and stuff. Right. Yeah, well, that's so, true. It's, it's harder. Something about um, the vagina and the penis. Yeah, it's just, it's just, however, it, know, it's man. hard to catch it. I'll, I'll tell y'all after the show. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I'll tell y'all after the show. <laughs> Sword, see, be looking at him like, <laughs> Sword was like, he gave me that look like, I have the answer for that, <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, uh, just chill out, yeah. I got yeah, but, you. I'm looking at that sword. Yeah, like, but he yeah. never mentioned, yeah. never, never said nothing like that. I know he didn't know. And then another key thing, too, this is where I'm not a conspiracy guy. Mm -hmm. they, they tell me I am. But, yeah, you is a little bit. But Give us that. Slap us with it. This is my thing. <laughs> he signed it. He did it. He had an insurance policy written up two months before he died. Well, I don't know about that. We had done insurance companies when Dre was still there. Lords of London. I remember that because they had to take blood. So Ugh. I'm like, well, who's, you know, who's, well, I didn't know nothing about beneficiary. Who gets the money? They were like million dollar policies on me, on Dre. I'm quite sure Eric had a couple of million. Somebody had them policies. The discussion for like, why did you guys get it? What made it happen then? Like, it just was. Oh, we got, we're going to get some insurance on your hands and this and that. You know, they cover stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I remember we went there, drew the blood, and, just, and they had got insurance policies. Right. Of course, you know, it wasn't Eric's idea. It was the other guy's idea, I'm quite sure. Mm -hmm. And I, I can imagine who got the money from if they kept the policy up mm -hmm. all that right. time. <laughs> right. I'm quite sure they did. Well, I'm that, sure that they sounds did. like the, uh, obviously, I don't know, this is pure speculation, but it, <laughs> that does sound. Man in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the type of situation where some of the athletes will do insurance, like one they're in college, so if they go pro and they're playing football or something and they break their leg, they can't play. Yeah. Like, yeah, my so son if, had that insurance. So if Dre broke his arm, he couldn't produce or yeah. something. That, that's what they that's, that's what they got us on. Yeah, yeah. It was body parts or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But there was a million dollar policy back you didn't know in who the day. Well, I guess the record company would be the beneficiary. Well, yeah. Which well, it's or the manager. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, should yeah. Goes it should be the person and the record company. It should company. have been yeah. it should have been both. Us or, that's or my family or his yeah, family. To me, Absolutely. that's a conflict of interest because the thing is. Sometimes the artist is more valuable dead than he is alive. You know, if you figure, if you got a dude's catalog, right? Yeah. An artist is going to eventually leave somebody anyway. I don't care how tight y'all is or whatever. Yeah. Every situation is going to one day come to an end in the recording business because this guy's going to get big one day and this, he's going to see in his head, it don't make no sense to give you 30, 40% no more. I need that. I'm further along in my career, so I'm going about my business. Think about it. If you miss the record company, man, you got an insurance. Man, well, shit. Oh, yeah. This motherfucker died. I get a million dollars in. I got a whole motherfucking reels of his ass back there. As soon as we put out, oh, man, such MCs do wrong is gone. 
go put this album out, and it's going to go triple platinum, and we're going to get all the money. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's a cold business. It's more colder than the streets. The streets ain't that cold. Man. <laughs> you the second artist that came up there and said that cocaine was just up here a week ago. He said, man, being the rap game is like being in the dope game. Man, it is. <laughs> it's treacherous. Man, niggas I mean, want to kill you and shit. Niggas want to take your spot and whatever and haters and, you know, and just it's just the hustle game, man. Oh, yeah. You, you, you know, you, your product got to be the top notch or shit. You ain't going to be able to sell your shit to the customers, the consumers, whatever, man. So You go from champ to champ real quick. Man, I, man <laughs> definitely. Champ to champ with the quickness. So, yo... Once Cube dropped that No Vaseline, man, mm -hmm. <laughs> what was your mindset? What was you doing? Because you seemed like a dude that just tell the truth. Yeah, I mean, I did just, because I told him about that scene in the in the movie. He said, what was y'all doing? He called me the night before they shot. He said, what happened when the song dropped? I just, I told him, he got us. That's all was discussed. There wasn't no discussions. He got us. He, he made a whole song about us. We never made a whole song about it. We had snippets and commercials and uh -huh. a few hits here and there, but he made a whole song. So that was it. That was all it was. There wasn't no, oh, man, we going to kill. Nah, it just, he got us. Yeah, he came with some shit. Y'all threw a rock at him. He hit y'all back yeah. AK. <laughs> <laughs> y'all threw a rock at Cube. He came, brat. <laughs> he wasn't bullshitting. <laughs> nah. So do you think all that stuff could have been rectified? Um. Before he died, he talked to Cube in New York. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think he talked to Dre. There was some talks going on. I don't know about what, but it was some kind of talks going on. Ren came back around. We did a couple of the songs on his last album I had produced for him. Mm -hmm. And it was, I don't know if it would have ever came, anything would have happened, but at least the talks was there. Mm -hmm. I don't have a guilty conscience. I sleep good at night. Uh -huh. I was there, you know, I was just, because when, when Dre was finna leave, I remember him calling me. I'm gone. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I remember six in the that. morning. Yeah. I'm looking over what's in my bed. It's yeah. Six in the morning, you know. Okay, and I told him, I'll call you back. It took 25 years later before I told him. <laughs> I went to his house and he had to tell. I said, I didn't choose a side. I was thrown into that. Uh, you left. At that particular time, I didn't know you was leaving. I didn't know what you was talking about. And easy. And I just like, I just stood my ground. And I'm just here with E. I didn't pick E. Yeah, I should have left with Dre, but I just stayed where something told me to just stay. Pinocchio, we gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Extra chronic, 